You know, John, I had, I have a somewhat similar story in that I left, you know, and have made the choice many times to, to not be acting and to focus instead on this ministry to artists. And um, I just, your, your story, I think about, uh, we're talking, we're talking a lot about calling lately and looking at the calling stories in the Bible and how God frequently takes people from one place all the way to someplace else. And it's everything in between that makes that final, those calling moments possible. And I, I just think about your work and technically it's, I think it's incredible. I think it's beautiful, but there is something that you are imbuing these images with that is, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a painter, so I don't understand it, but I, like, I see the love. Like I, I really, I feel it. That first image of the two young men, like just makes me want to cry. As soon as I saw it, like my heart melted. And I think, I think there's probably something of that pastoral experience as, as meaningful as that is and was for what God was doing at the time also in you that God was doing something in you that then became an enhancement of this gift of art making, that you are able to step into that in a way that maybe you couldn't before having had all of this, this experience in that pastoral ministry. And I just, you know, you, we were talking earlier and you, you were talking about thinking, how do I bring the, how do I use my, my art for God? And I, I just, I think you are, <laughs> you know, those images that is you're, you're showing the love of Christ. And I, I just think having, even having those images show up in front of people is so rare <laughs> that it, it just, it, to illuminate that this is reality, it, that is so vital. So mm -hmm. I just, I just. I just want to affirm that it, boom, it hits really hard in that way. And I think that God has really uh, prepared you to do this form of ministry um, and it's just folding in everything. I don't think there's chapters here. I think it's just an unfolding of all the different pieces into something else. It's just really incredible. Well, well I don't think that we're here at this point in time, seeing what you saw, um, your, your, your social consciousness, your political consciousness, the consciousness of, of what's going on in the environment, what's going on in the schools, there's a reason why we see this. There's a reason why we're here in, at this point in time, seeing what we see and having the reality of faith in our lives. We're able to see it, but at the same time, it does not deter us. It doesn't distract us from our purpose, why we are here. And there's something that we must do and we're searching that out and um, that is my prayer for all of us uh, that we're sensitive and we become conscious of that thing that only we can do only we can do it and we do it the way God has infused it in our lives <laughs>